Today we find out how low or how high my center of gravity is. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the car on my scales, my uh, corner scales, uh, digital, digital corner scales. We're gonna put it on there and we're gonna weigh it. But before that, we are going to replace the shocks with just some solid rods. Because the method to check your center of gravity is to check your weight at level ride height and then to raise up one side or the other of the car and uh, check your corner weights again. And so what happens is there's a there's an online calculator, you know, you just punch in the numbers and the, the difference is what happens when you raise it up or lower it and all that stuff and uh, it spits out a number and tells you what your center of gravity is. So we're gonna find out today uh, what my center of gravity is, but the first thing I need to do is replace all the shocks with some solid rods, because if I leave the shocks hooked up, it actually will, uh, it completely messes with the results and makes them meaningless. So I need to change all the shocks over to a solid rod. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, the front has been done. I put uh, just, you know, straight aluminum rods in there, the same height that the shocks were at ride height. So now I'm just gonna do the back ones. Okay, uh, the back of the car is now done. And what I gotta do next is put the car on the, uh, on the corner scales. I'm not sure it's critical that the car is actually perfectly scaled corner-wise because this really has to do with the weight on the front of the car, the weight on the back of the car, and not side to side. Uh, but uh, I'll get it close and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it close at ride height, normal ride height, and then we're gonna lift it up. Um, haven't decided yet, front or back axle, I don't think it matters. But uh, I made these little stands that are exactly one foot high and we will put the scales on there and uh, we'll check it again. So that's the next step.
There's uh, my weights right now. Okay, here's our after lifting the back end up. These are our weights afterwards. So now we just gotta go do some calculations and it should find out what my center of gravity is. Okay, I have been using the uh, Rob, Robinette.com um, CG height calculator. It's online and uh, so I've punched in the weights all the different weights and then I uh, raised it up and I got the weights after just on the front end after it's been raised up I got my wheelbase I got my new axle height and I just have to click on calculate and our magic number is 13.29 inches above the ground so now I know a little more information about the car and I can use that for tuning and uh, yeah I think that 13.29 I think that's okay um, find out and uh, got the front end in there now um, yeah we're almost ready for spring nationals it's gonna be exciting can't wait <laughs>